Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today, what I wanted to do is talk about a trucker shift, using it to pull down a tree, like maybe a one-man tree, um, just to give you a little bit better of a mechanical advantage. All right, let's get to it. Normally, a trucker hitch is used just for tie downs, but what, say, I mean, you know, even in pulling down a tree, and if you want mechanical advantages, a lot of times you can use pulleys. So what you would do is, if you had a pulley, you'd uh, strap a pulley to a tree over near you. You put a pulley on that, and then you bring your line to the line that you're going to pull a tree down with, and connect like a butterfly knot in your pulley to it. And then you put your line and then you make a mechanical advantage and pull. But if you didn't have a pulley and you had one guy helping you out and say you were going to drop a tree that's maybe a little bit too much for the guy and you just wanted some mechanical advantage because say it had a back lean and you wanted to go in that direction toward that tree, um, you could do a trucker's hitch. So what you can do is you'd want to get your line over the tree and you know the higher you go on the tree the more leverage you would have. So for this example, this is a small tree and I'm just going to throw it just so I could show you what the trucker's hitch would look like um, using it as a mechanical advantage. Um, <clears throat> so you'd first want to make yourself a running bowline. So you do tie it by making your bowline, sending the tail around, tying it like this. There you go. That's a bowline and here's the running bowline. You get this set up. Okay. Then you want to grab your rope. I like having a rope bag because your rope stays uh, nice and put together. You'll come over to the tree over here. And what you're going to do is go around this tree. And this tree would act somewhat like a pulley. So now that you got around, you're going to go back down your line toward the tree that you're going to drop. And you need some extra length. So when you think you got your far enough, now you're going to put your rope over the line. You'll set it down and then you're going to grab this part of the line and you're going to make, you're going to grab a bite. Once you grab your bite, now on this part over here, you'll make a loop and you're going to set your bite through that loop. Okay. You want to give it enough so it's not going to slide out. Now, once you put your bite through the loop, you're going to grab this part of the line and you're going to put tension on it. Okay, so this, this piece right here is going to act somewhat like a pulley. And then that part over here, that tree is also like another pulley. Um, not as good as a pulley, but it will give you a little bit of extra advantage. So now you walk back toward the tree. Now that you got set up, your guy would make his notch and before he gets it ready you'll put your tension in your line and now when he's ready to go he's doing his his cut you're going to give it more tension and you're going to pull it and as he's making his cut you'll pull it all the way down once the tree falls now the line will go slack and then what happens with your trucker's hitch is that it'll just when you get to it it just falls out now, mind you, it's not to huge trees to do it with, and a trucker's hitch isn't super secure. So it's uh, like a medium-sized tree, one that you feel comfortable that a, that a guy can pull over, but you just want a little bit more advantage to get it in the direction that you want it to go. Real quick tip on a trucker's hitch. Well, that's one way you can use a trucker's hitch, um, using it as a mechanical advantage on a pulling down a tree. Um, remember that a trucker, trucker's hitch isn't always super secure. Um, it, it, you want to make sure you have tension and not jiggle the line because then it could come undone on you. And I would say I wouldn't want to do this on something that's really delicate where you could have things that were damaged if it went the wrong way. Um, ultimately the best way to do something like that would be using like pulleys. They're a lot better to get mechanical advantage and in fact I think even they got fiddle blocks that are even better. But if you were on a job site and you needed just a little bit extra help, doing something like this trucker hitch can help out. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.